Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running a SteamOS VM in Proxmox. To get started, navigate to the Proxmox web UI and log in. Expand the node name on the left side of the screen, then select the target storage device to download the SteamOS ISO to. If you're running Proxmox 6, you'll need to download the SteamOS installation ISO separately and upload it. On Proxmox 7, you can click Download from URL, paste the URL, click Query URL, and then click Download. Once the SteamOS installation ISO is available in Proxmox, right-click on the Proxmox node name and select Create VM. Enter a unique ID number and name for the VM, then click the Next button. Select the storage where the ISO is stored, then select the SteamOS installation ISO from the drop-down. On the System tab, set the machine to Q35 and the BIOS to OVMF. Then set the storage device to store the EFI disk and uncheck pre-enroll keys. On the Disks tab, set the storage device to store the disk to, then set the disk size to at least 16 gigabytes. On the CPU tab, set the number of cores to two or more, and the type to host. Then set the memory to four gigabytes or more. Accept the defaults on the Network tab, then click Finish. When the new VM shows up on the left navigation, right-click on it and select Start, then click Console in the sub-navigation menu. When the Steam logo appears, press Enter to select Automated Install. At this point, the SteamOS installation is almost automatic and doesn't require any user interaction. Wait while it copies and installs files. After a few minutes, the VM will reboot and you end up at the SteamOS desktop environment. Wait while SteamOS checks for and installs any available updates. After all the available updates are installed, the VM will reboot again. At this point, with no GPU acceleration, we'll be stuck at a black screen. Send the Ctrl-Alt-F2 command to the VM to reach a console and watch the boot process. Once the startup process is completed, you'll reach a Steam Verifying Installation screen. When the Verifying Installation screen goes black, again send the Ctrl-Alt-F2 command to reach the console. At the login prompt, type Desktop and press Enter. Enter the command passwd, then type and confirm a new password for the desktop user. With the new password set, type startx to start the desktop environment. So this is the SteamOS desktop environment, but that's not why you install SteamOS. Click the power icon in the top right, then select power off to shut down the VM. To use the SteamOS VM for gaming, we'll need to pass through a physical GPU. I won't go into full detail here, but there's a link in the video description to a tutorial for GPU pass-through. Select Add, PCI Device, and select the GPU to pass through to the VM. Then select Add, USB Device, and pass through a keyboard and mouse so we can control the VM. Now that we have passed through a physical GPU and a physical keyboard and mouse, click the start button to power on the VM. I'm now switching to the output of the GPU that's passed through to the VM. After the normal startup process, we'll be back at the Steam verifying installation screen. But this time, instead of a black screen, we'll get booted into Steam. Welcome to SteamOS, running as a Proxmox VM. Select your language and click Next. Then click I agree at the end user license agreement and select your time zone. After about a minute of setup, click the Run Steam Now button. Press Enter to select Login, 
then log in with your existing Steam username and password. Retrieve the access code from your email and enter it here. And here we have Steam running on SteamOS inside of a Proxmox VM. You'll likely want to pass through a physical hard disk to store your games on. I'll link to a separate tutorial in the video description on how to handle that.